All right, welcome back to extended gameplay for Glass Road. Now, we've got the board set up for the second year. I've already chosen what Jen is gonna do. I did that in between filming, just so you didn't have to watch me um and ah and, and all that, and it should be very, very painful for you. And I was thinking about it, I think I know what I'm gonna do for me too. Looking at the board, I think I like getting this Glassmaker Village because it upgrades my Glassmaker Colony, which is only a half a point per sand at the end of the game, to one point per sand, which is pretty cool. And, you know, and it basically covers it up like this. And it needs three wood, two clay, and a brick. Now, of course, I've already got a bunch of clay, um, but I need a brick, which means I'd have to increase my charcoal and my food. And I need some wood. Now, I already have some wood as well, but remember, I want a lot of wood um, because at the end of the game, I get points for clay, and I can, anytime I want, I can convert wood into clay. So either I have a bunch of clay on hand at the end of the game, or I have a bunch of wood on hand to turn into clay at the end of the game to get the most out of this potter's parlor, um, which is what I was thinking uh, would, would be worth right so with, and with that in mind I figure the cards I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the builder now I don't really plan on building two things but considering the fact that last year Jen didn't get to build anything I am betting that she is gonna want to play the double builder because she wants to catch up and so that means if I play this then I would be able to get a free action off of her so that's me anticipating what she's gonna do Let's see. And what else? I was going to take uh, the charcoal to get my charcoal up. I just want my charcoal up really high. I just don't want to mess around with it. I'm going to do this, the, the woodcutter, to get a lot of wood because I need a lot of wood. I'm going to use the pit worker again because I want to get a lot of sand as well. Because if I'm going to get this, I want to have a lot of sand to get bonus points for it at the end of the game. And this is the best way to get sand. If I'm the only one who plays this, I get basically to put a pit down. And then I'd have three pits, which means I'd get three sand out of those pits, plus I get a clay out of it. So that's nice. And then finally, you'll notice I have no food in either my bricks or, and so I need food to be able to build bricks or, so I'm going to have the fish farmer get me some food. Right. So those are my choices for my five cards. Jen's already chosen her five. Let's go. Okay, for starters, Jen plays the fuel collector. Now, I don't have that. I did not. So that means Jen gets it all to herself. She has to give up one water. She goes from three to two. And now she gets uh, charcoal equal to the number of cards in her hand. She's still got four in her hand, so she gets four charcoal. And she could either get it um, in the, the glass works, but she'd only be able to take three of it because she's at the line. But instead, she's going to get it over here so she can make some bricks. One, two, three, four. And as you might imagine, that means automatically, whoop, Jen just made two bricks. And now she's out of food and clay, but and she's still got two charcoal. Okay. Also, Jen, because she's the only one who did this, she gets two wood. So her wood climbs up one, two. All right, there we go. Now it's my turn. All right. Now I'm certainly not gonna play my builder because I have gotta get my resources in place. I wanna be able to build this, so I need, I need the wood. I've got the wood right now. I've got the clay right now, but I don't have the bricks. So that means I've gotta increase this stuff. So let's go on ahead and get uh, I don't want to get the food or the charcoal first. Mm, I don't know. Uh, let's go on ahead and get the food first. Right, the fish farmer. Hello, fatty. Now he wants one charcoal, and but that's okay because I'm going to get more charcoal later. I can't get charcoal from here. Well, actually, oh no. Actually, let that, let's do the charcoal first. So I'll have some excess charcoal to pay for the fish farmer. So I'm going to have the charcoal burner come. Oh, but he takes one of my wood. But no, that's okay. I'll get the wood back. All right. So I'm going to have him come, and let's see. Did Jen choose charcoal burner? I don't think she did. Nope, she didn't. Right, so I get, I pay one wood, and I get all of his benefits, which is six. Now, I can't pick three and three, like three in the glass and three in the brick. I have to take all six in one spot. So I'll take it all here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so I'm setting myself up to build some more bricks, um, which is why, which I need to be able to build the Glassmaker's Village. Okay. So that was my first action. Now it's Jen's second action, and she is going to play, hey, nice for me, the pit worker. I say, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have the pit worker as well. All right, so that's nice. So Jen's kind of bummed by that. She wanted to get both, but we have to share them. So now Jen has to choose to either get another pit and some clay, but nope, she's gonna take the sand. She needs the sand. She was hoping to be able to get more sand by doing a pit first, but that clearly did not work out. So she will take three sand. One, two, three. Okay, and that means whoop, she has made the first glass of the game. And now she's out of food and um, low on everything else, but she has a glass. All right, and now me, I also get to do him. 
Um, let's see, I was choosing him for sand also because remember, I wanted to start saving up on sand. Uh, and, oh wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, yeah, Jen has three, right? Did I give her three? One, two, three, yes I did, all right. So me, I was did him because I was hoping to get a pit down to get more sand, but I can only get two sand out of him. So one, two. But I didn't have to pay one of my actions to do it, so that worked out nice. Okay, so that was Jen's second action. Now it's my second action. Now that I've got the charcoal, I will spend some of it for the fish farmer. I don't believe Jen has the fish farmer. Does she? No, she does not. So I pay one charcoal. I'll pay out of this super supply I've got over here. And now I can get two plus one for every pond. I've got two ponds, so that's a total of four food. But again, it has to be either in brick land or glass land. Since I want to build this village and it doesn't need glass, it needs bricks, I will take the four food, one, two, three, four, and then suddenly, boom, I just, well, I tried to make four bricks, but I couldn't. I could only go this far because this, um, that means I'm up to the maximum number of bricks. I have to build as much as I can up to, but I can't store more than three. So that means I did not gobble up. I still got a little bit of food and clay and charcoal. I didn't gobble all of it up to generate all those bricks. Okay. So that was my second action. I got a lot of food. Jen's third action, she is going to slash and burn. The return of this guy, which uh, happened uh, last turn too. And now I don't have him, do I? No, I do not. So Jen gets the whole thing, which means she takes away one forest. She'll move this forest and she gets both. She gets two charcoal and two food all to herself. Let's see now, what should she want? I'm trying to remember, what was she gonna build? Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. It's all a blur now. All right, okay, I think it was gonna be two food from here. One, two. And so that means she's made another glass now. She's got two glass. Is that right? Was that what she was gonna do? Um, all right, hold on a second. I've totally forgotten what her strategy was. Well, there's so much to think about in this game when you're playing for yourself, let alone when you're playing for two. All right, she, she gets two food and two charcoal. She was going, she, she, she's gonna build that, which is the clay. Um, and she wanted to build that, which is the, okay, and the, right, no, okay, no, she is going to actually take two food over here, one, two, no, she's already got the brick, she's got the brick she needs, huh, yeah, okay, I guess she will, she'll build some more glass, one, two, which means she's made another glass for herself, and every glass is worth a point at the end of the game, so right now she's sitting on two points with a glass, and she gets two charcoal as well. Which was that going to be? Mm. Alright, because she was going to build that. Oh! <laughs> okay. I don't know what she hasn't got. Shoot the ward. And the glass. And that. Right. So. Actually, the charcoal could go to either one. So she really needs to think about what does she want more of. Does she want, well, she's, I think she's gonna set herself up more for more glass. So one, two, charcoal. All right, so boom. So she's done with that. I didn't get a benefit. Now I get to play another card. I'll go ahead and play my woodcutter. And Jen, I do not believe she has the woodcutter. No, she does not. So I get to do this unimpeded. I will clear out a forest and I get four wood. One, two, three, four, which is good. I'm, I've got up to six, I'm almost to my maximum. Remember, I anytime I want, I can convert wood into clay, which and you know, because uh, which I would need for points, etc., etc. So that was it. And that was nice and easy. Now it's Jen's turn again, and now Jen says, "Oh no, I've only got." She doesn't know what it is, but I've only got one card left. And so Jen knows she's going to play a card, and then I'm going to play a card and then she's not gonna to get to play her last card. So once again, she's in this situation where I, because I've been able to copy her, I'm in a more powerful position to be able to have done more in a year than she did because I, um, yeah, what's she gonna do then? Shoot. <sighs> okay, well, she's gotta pick one of these cards. Actually, I'll tell you what she's thinking about. These are the last two cards she's got. She did, in fact, have the double build. 
um, which she needs food for. She's got over there. And she's got the supplier. She really actually was planning to do both of them and do a triple build. Or, but she didn't think she was going to get to. She thought she might get stopped on the supplier or the builder. So she really kind of stacked the deck. So she, had, she wants to build two things. And she was hoping between these things she'd actually get to build at least two things, if not three. And, you know, she's got a lot of resources. So she should be able to build several things. But now she's got to make a decision. Having no idea what my last card is. Here's the thing. If she pick if she plays a card that happens to match my card, then the round will be over. Um, if she plays a card that doesn't match my card, then I'll get to play. And if this matches one of hers, then she'll get to do her final action as well. So that's what she's got to think about. Which of these two, based on what she thinks that is? And now she notices I have not built at all yet. So she figures this is a guy who can build, but she doesn't know what type of builder. She knows last time I did the double build, um, but you know, it, again, it could be in here. Now we all know, of course, it is the double build because I chose this because I was anticipating that's what she was going to do. And now she might realize that as well. She might realize that I might have chosen the double build to play off of what she did. She's going to assume that's the case because she's that smart. So that means she's not going to play this because if she played this, that would get revealed and she wouldn't get a chance to play her supplier. So instead, Ah, see, these are the, the Vicini level, ah, I think you know what I know, what you know I think I know type stuff that goes on in this game. Jen is going to take a chance, play the supplier, and say, did you play the supplier? And I say, uh-uh, this is not the supplier. And then boom. So that means at the very least, she will get to do one build this year, and there's still a chance she might get to activate this card as well. She doesn't know yet, but and since she, she gets to do both these things, she gets to get two resources of her choice, and by the way, I will get one of whatever she chooses. So she has to bear that in mind as well. She doesn't want to give me something that'll help me. And she will get to do at least one build this turn now. Now, she had a couple of things in mind that she wanted to build, that she was thinking about. If she could build two things. She wanted to build either, either of these food generators, the inn or the boarding house. Because remember, she also, by the end of the game, wants to build this storehouse, which means food is worth points. The inn or the boarding house, both of them generate food. The other thing she was thinking about building, it's why she cleared all this space out. She really likes this wood deposit because if she could get this and put it here, and now this is actually a, a special thing in the rules. Anytime you want, anytime, uh, as long as it's not interrupting an action, you can remove a grove, a pit, or a pond. Just remove it from the game. And so if Jen had removed this and then built this wood depot, she would get eight wood because you can see she's completely surrounded by all this all these empty spaces. So that's what she was planning on doing. Um, but she's already got four wood. So it's not going to be that useful to grab all that wood. It's also worth a victory point. She'd get a lot of wood, but it'd be ideal for her to do that when her wood is really, really low. And see, that's the thing. This boarding house, if she builds that first, all of her wood will be gone. And then follow up with the wood depot, and boom, she'd get all her wood back. That was the big plan that I figured out when I was off camera. And so now, so first of all, she gets two resources and she gets to do a build. She's gonna build this boarding house. And by the way, she could do these in either order. So what the heck, let's say she builds the boarding house first. She's gonna build it over here so it won't be adjacent to where she wants to put that wood depot, right? She's gonna build it over there. That means she has to give up four wood, so she goes all the way down to zero wood, and she has to give up one glass, boom, right. Okay, and she's built this. It's worth two victory points, and now whenever she wants, she can convert water and charcoal into a lot of food. And remember, she's going to want a lot of food for the storehouse at the end of the game. And now she still gets two resources, and she's got to be thinking, if she gets lucky and gets to build again, and to build this wood depot, she needs one clay, and she has no clay, as you can see. So the resource Jen is going to take is, two, is clay, which means she gets one, two, and I say thank you very much because I will get one as well, because that's what the supplier does. He's very interesting. Take two of the same good of your choice, and each other player receives one of that good. So she took two clay, and I got one as a result. So she did that in that order, and so now it's my turn. I reveal the final card, and Jen is hoping she gambled correctly. And the final reveal is, dun da da it's the builder, and Jen says, yay, hooray! She had the builder too, okay. So, interestingly, in this round, we both got to do all five actions uh, because of the overlap. Okay, so anyway, I go first. I have to pay a food to um, get this guy out. Fortunately, I collected some food. Doink! And let's see, 
Jen's gonna have to pay a food as well. Let's just do that right now before I forget. And she had one food also. All right, so we both had to pay a food for the builder. We both get to do one building because neither of us get to do two since we both called them. Now, what was my building gonna be? I've already forgotten. Um, shoot, oh, it was gonna be the Glassmaker Village, that's right. Which was three wood, one, two, three, two clay, one, two. Oh, wow, I, that worked out well for me because if, if Jen hadn't given me that one clay, I wouldn't have had enough to build the thing I was planning on building. And one brick, which I have several, so boom, one brick. All right, and I have upgraded my colony to a, um, to a village, which means now I get a full point for every glass I have at the end of the game. Nice. Um, right, and so now Jen gets to do a build and she's very happy about that. She is gonna build her wood depot, slap it right down there, it requires one clay and um, or before she builds though, because you can't interrupt the action, so before she builds, she will remove this grove from the game. Then she will build, she spent one clay, puts it down here, gets one victory point at the end of the game, but more importantly, two logs per empty space adjacent to this building. Diagonals don't count, so she just got eight, um, which she, the max she can get is seven, but so she completely maxed out on wood, which was very, very nice. All right, and that was it, that was the second year. So we all, Got to, both of us got all five actions. And I should say, by the way, the, um, the way the cards play is very different in a three or um, four player game. Basically, everybody chooses a card at the same time, all plays them and reveals them at the same time, and then you find out what overlap there is. But in the two player game, it's a little bit different where we each play one at a time. All right, so anyway, that was the end of that year. Some new buildings come out. It's uh, the sand screening plant, turn clay into sand. Oh, now that's unfortunate for me. Um, cause I want my clay at the end of the game, but I want sand too. Well, anyway, a, the, uh, Lowe's Island, which gives you two clay for every, when you build this, all of these things only happen when you first hit. Like this wood depot will never fire again. It happened when she built it. So when you build this, you will immediately get two clay for every pond that is next to it. So it's kind of like the opposite of this wood depot. The one be, you know, the Island wants to be surrounded by ponds. And that will generate more clay. And it's worth a victory point too. And another victory point generator, the sediment factory, one per contiguous pit. Now that's interesting to Jen. She puts another pit here, she would have four contiguous pits. Which means this would be worth four points to her. This, I should say, by the way, is not a huge, super high, in the hundreds scoring game. You know, I mean, you know, in the, the, the teens and 20s and maybe 30s, that's kind of, you know, I played, we played two games so far. Our first game, I think, our high score was 17. The second game, it was 25. So, you know, four points is a pretty good deal. That maybe just fell right into Jen's lap. She's gonna be very thinking very hard. She's got the bricks for it. She needs some clay, and she's got the wood. She could build that, and she, ooh. Interesting, okay, well anyway, so that was the end. I will be the first player in the third year. And once again, we can take our cards and start to strategize about what we wanna do. Now let's think about this for a second. Now I know Jen is very excited about this. She definitely wants to get this, put it down there, do another pit. Now and if I pay attention to her, that's pretty damn obvious that's what she's gonna to wanna to do. She's probably gonna to wanna to go for this thing. And so I've got, I, here's what I can think about that, about that sediment factory. I can either go for it myself. I'm the first player. Chances are I could get to it first. I have two bricks. I, I don't have any clay, but if I get the clay, I've got the wood. So all, either of us, we just need to get three clay to get that thing. So it's, it's either of us could have it, but do I want to race her for it? Or do I just wanna to say, to heck with it, I know she's gonna go for that, and because I know she's gonna go for that, I know what she's gonna do. I know she's gonna build another pit. And that means I can get a free action out of her because I'll play my pit worker. So, you know, that all becomes very interesting. Although I think uh, that means the pit worker will be definitely interesting enough to play, because either, um, you know, because right now it's a good way to get clay as well. It's, uh, it would be potentially, but I have to assume she's gonna play it. So I have to assume only one or the other thing is gonna happen. And whoever does get this, if somebody gets this early in the game, you know every round for the rest of the game, they're gonna be doing pit worker just to make more pits. Well, actually that's not true. It could be pit worker or, I haven't played him with him yet. Where is he? Where is the other guy? Oh, he's in here somewhere uh, of the 15 cards. The cultivator. This is the other way. Um, you can get pits and get some resources, or this guy, you can get any one of the three types you want and then do a build. So, would, um, if Jen wants to get more pits, would she use a cultivator or pit worker? It depends. So there's never 100% guarantee because there's always a couple of ways to do everything, which is an interesting part of this game. But anyway, so I know she's probably gonna wanna go for that because she's in a good position for it. What do I wanna go for? 
Let's see, I've set myself up to get, I want to end the game with a lot of glass, a lot of sand, a lot of bricks, and a lot of clay. Actually, that's kind of interesting. Try, um, trying to get the clay is hard because, of course, I'd be turning the clay into bricks. But the nice thing is, uh, with the wood, so basically I want to have a lot of resources at the end of the game. I want to have a lot of wood left over so I can convert it into clay. I want to have a big stockpile of sand, but I want to have also built a lot of uh, glass up front as well. Although the most glass you can have is three. So the best I could get out of this is three points. The best I could get out of this is seven points if I have a lot of glass. The best I could get out of this is three points. The best I could get out of this, since the most clay I can have, is three as well because, um, so, so this feeds that. If I care less about glass, because the best can go, if I really want to make sure I have a lot of sand, I got to be thinking, how do I get a lot of sand? Pit worker, once again, there's another reason to have the pit worker. Maybe that's a reason to have the supplier and give myself some more sand. Maybe that's a reason to um, you know, have the cultivator out and get myself another pit. Play him, get another pit, and then play the pit worker and collect all the sand based on all my pits and maybe one more pit depending on what Jen's going to do. Plus, then I could go for the sediment factory. Uh, let's see. Or also, I haven't used him yet either, there's the wa water collector's fund for one food. Although I have no food. That's a problem. I have no food. I can't generate um, glass or bricks. Do I care though? Do I have anything out right now that I want to build out of glass? If anything, you know, oh, that's an interesting thing. What I could say is to heck with it. I'm not even going to try and build glass because the best I could do is three points. But I might, for only one food, I might build this artist colony, which is worth a victory point. It replaces it and it immediately gives me one glass that I could use towards other stuff. So maybe that's something I want to build. All I need is one food for it. I have no food. I definitely gonna need some food. Um, so I'm gonna have to get the fish farmer again because that'll give me a lot of food. Uh, because you know now Jen, she can get food much easier if she and she's out completely out of food as well. But anytime she wants, although she has no water, if she, as soon as she gets some water, she can convert water and charcoal into a lot of food. And she's still planning on doing the storehouse in the final turn to, um, you know, to convert excess food into points. And what else is she going to plan to do to convert points? Well, again, glass and bricks and whatever. But I think, yeah, she is definitely, she's definitely going to pursue this and try to just fill her land. She'll replace this pond and this grove with pits if she can and try to really maximize that thing. Which means, of course, then, she is probably also going to play the, where are they? La la la, uh, the they're right here. The the cultivator and the pit worker. Ah, it's in here somewhere. Fifteen cards, very hard to do one handed. But anyway, so that's what she's got to be thinking about. If I'm thinking about, um, you know, go for that, replace my glass, so I could use the glass to build something else. Um, well, actually, it's interesting. Right now, that glass is not particularly worth anything. Um, there's nothing out there that I particularly want to build. The only thing that even needs glass to build is this wood carver's house, which is a point for every wood. But I'm planning on converting my wood into clay for points over there. Hmm. So maybe I don't want to build that. Uh, but I do need to start worrying about, you know, I know if she's going to go for that, but I could just race her for this and just prevent her from getting it. So maybe that's what I want to do. I just want to get my clay as fast as I can and build that before she does. <sighs> okay, there's a lot of choices I have here as I'm picking the five buildings or the five helpers who are going to come. And I got to do that for Jen as well. You know what? I think, I think you guys have enough of an idea of how the game plays. What I'm going to do is right now, I'm just going to go on ahead and um, stop the recording, play through round three, um, set up round four, and come back for an in-game that shows you round four because... There is so much to think about here. Um, I, I, I've given you an idea of the type of stuff, but it's going to take me a while for two different strategies to actually come up with what I want to do. So I'm going to do that off camera. I'll come back. You'll get to see the final year, see how everything worked out, and then we can go to final thoughts. So, or you can go to final thoughts directly. Your choice. In five, four, three, two, one.